G'day, I'm Dr. Friday, and this is the Dr. Friday Show, and this is my mate, Hercules, the top dog of finance. And today, do we have an awesome show. We're gonna bounce back, that's right. We're gonna take kids that have dreams and show them how to become successful business owners. We're gonna go to the cooking corner and figure out how something sweet can turn into some sweet tax deductions. We're gonna do how taxes on small businesses and how they're going to try to eat us up with them. And also how we're gonna go to the business corner and talk about some of those surcharges. This show is gonna be awesome. Awesome. We're going to take you and have a great time, so keep watching. <laughs> Tax class is in session, so I certainly hope you have your pen and paper because this is going to be very, very important. First, let's talk about the new tax part of the Obama health care plan that came into effect back in 2010. This is coming into effect, guys, in 2010. 13. That's next year, right? So now's the time to start planning. What exactly is 3.8? Unearned income. These are people that let's say you sell your house and let's hope that the housing market increases. And so right now you own a house, you've put in 30 years of owning that house. You paid 100,000 when you purchased it. As a married couple, you would have a $500,000 exclusion. So the odds are you probably won't have that. But let's talk about a single person. They have a $250,000 exclusion. Are you following me? So a house that's worth 100, you have a 250. So if you sell that house for $500,000 and you only can exclude 350, you're going to pay an additional tax on 150,000 of 3.8. This is to help pay for other people's Medicare. That's what it comes down to, or maybe your own Medicare, but the bottom line is it's an additional tax. Now, making this make a lot of sense, you're assuming, okay, let's talk about a married couple. Married couples, as we always talk about, tax law is not fair to the married couple. Why is that? Well, because it comes down to this. They look at the married couple as one person still working. Not in our today's society is that the case, but this way, so this same situation, let's say you purchased a home at $100,000, you have a $500,000 exclusion. This is where there's a lot of misconceptions on the internet, guys. When you're on the internet, don't believe everything you read. Because one of the things they said is, on all profits of a home sale, would you pay 3.8% tax? That's not true. There is an exclusion. And this is only on homes, but on that same scenario, you've got a $100,000 home, $500,000 exclusion. If you sold that home for seven, you'd end up with $200,000. And as a married couple, anybody making over $250,000, that's right, single, 200, married, 250 big time penalty, you're gonna pay this. This is on any big unearned, let's say you have stock sales. Same situation, if you're making 250 as a married or 200 as a single, this is an additional tax that you're gonna be hit with. This is the time to start thinking and planning your taxes. Let's talk about this one really quick. On earned income, same scenario guys, married couples 250, single people 200, an additional 0.9 tax is going to be added coming 2013. Now is the time to start planning how to figure out to put more money in your pocket. I hope you enjoyed this and we're gonna keep going with a Dr. Friday show. Let's play the game of business. And the first question of the day is meals and entertainment. I can tell you guys already, meals and entertainment, most of you are probably not tracking this correctly at all. You do realize that when you take someone to entertain them or out for drinks and dinner, that you have to keep their name. You have to document why you met with that person. If their wife came and your, and your wife came, then that's a tax deduction for both. But if you just bring your spouse and the other person's spouse does not come, your spouse's ticket does not count at all all. It's family for family or one-on-one. -on -one. You can't take your whole family and bring one person and say, oh, 50% of this meal was a tax deduction. Not going to happen. Let's talk about travel. Traveling. A lot of you guys think that every time you leave and go on a business trip to Orlando, let's say, and oh, I'm in the auto detailing business, so I stopped by a couple auto detailing places, and therefore I did research for my own business. 
not gonna fly guys <laughs> when it comes to tax deductions it has to be legitimate let's have the proper documentation if you have the idea that you want to expand your business and you want to grow a new business in a different territory and you're going there and you're talking to business owners you're getting documentation you're going by yourself to Orlando to check these businesses not all the family and the kids that's going to be very hard to convince an internal revenue service agent that you didn't go there on vacation and oh yeah I got my car detailed while I was there therefore that was a, de a deduction for my taxes guys it's not going to happen I can show you in my business we deal with this all the time I have an awesome stamp and we can show you how you can put more and more of that money in your pocket business gifts big misconception do you know that on a business gift you can give as much as you want to a business to an individual $25, no more, no less. Really quickly, car and truck usage. Every time you take a trip, if your home office is at home, then you can take it off. If you have a place of business, let's say you rent an office space, then at that point, only when you leave there, from home to office, not a tax deduction. And last but not least, we've covered this in the cooking corner, but charitable contributions. Guys, so many people don't keep those slips from the Goodwill and from ARC. You need to keep them and the miles from your home to that location. Again, really, really important. If you want to know more about how to keep more money in your pocket, you need to call me at 615-367-0819. Dr. Friday Tax and Financial Firm can help you save money. Dr. Friday Tax and Financial Firm. That's me. And that's who you want to call if you want someone to help you with your finances, help you with your taxes. And we're also the home of the $100 a month QuickBooks accounting package. What does that mean? It means I'm certified in QuickBooks. That also means I know how to make that software work for you and I can save you up to 50% on your accounting services. Why? Because A, we're a family firm. We know what it takes to make money and we're going to help you save it. We also know how to deal with small business. We know how to keep the internal revenue service off your back. This is all about helping you be out there and work harder and let us help save you money. So if you've got questions on taxes or accounting, give Dr. Friday Tax and Financial Firm a call at 615-367-0819 or check us out on the web at www.drfriday.com. We're going to be right back with the Dr. Friday Show.